I promised that when I reached 10,000 subscribers, I would tell the origin story of my channel. Well, here it is. I'm not gonna lie or beat around the bush with this, so, I don't know, some of you might get pissed off. You can never predict how people are gonna react to these things. For about three years, my friends and I had been making videos with little to no success. I was the one behind the camera and doing all the editing, by the way. So don't go asking if any of these people are me. They're not. We mainly did dumb comedy skits that in retrospect made no sense at all. Hey, are you my friend? Yes, I am your friend. Help, help, help. We even did a couple of really awful unboxing parodies that did happen to get about 10,000 views, but with over 150 dislikes and 54 likes. And that wasn't exactly going to get us anywhere. This was back in a time where 100 views seemed like a lot to me, and the prospect of getting even 100 subscribers seemed far-fetched. And as more time passed, the more creatively challenged I felt. Yeah, I know that. That is a thing. It just wasn't working, I needed something new. So out of pure frustration and spite, and in a childish flash of stupidity, but primarily a strong sense of curiosity as to what would happen, I thought it would be a good idea to create a YouTube channel based around hating popular YouTubers. One in particular, you can probably guess. I even had the hilarious idea of comparing them to Aquaman for some reason, which of course became relevant later on. I wish I'd kept some of these videos so I could show you an example of just how bad they really were. They were so vigorously lazy and unbelievably terrible, I was amazed anyone could even begin to take them seriously. Look, I'll, I'll recreate the kind of thing I'm talking about. What is up, Internet? My name is... An Hello, my name's number one. I'm the number one hater in the galaxy. I've your opinion is wrong and I'm correct. I'm correct and you're wrong. Best of you is Ackerman. I love you. It was terrible and I regret doing it. Well, actually, part of me does, but part of me doesn't. Because if I didn't, I never would have wound up on the idea of this channel. Because these awful videos started to get attention, people were actually watching them. Sure, it was pretty much filled with just dislikes and hate, but that didn't matter to me. This account even had over 100 subscribers, more than the measly 58 I had on my channel I'd poured years of actual work into. I had just a taste of what it was like to have your inbox filled with messages from the YouTube community, and I wasn't about to let that escape me. So I eventually abandoned the awful channel, shutting it down for good ultimately leaving me in the same place where I'd started. A couple days later, I was doodling on Flash, and I just happened to draw the original angry face I used to use. It wasn't planned, it wasn't designed to be a logo, it just happened. Then in a hilarious cliche, the idea just hit me. Why don't I use the editing skills I've been developing for the last four years, but combine them with not something as awful as the troll channel I just deleted, but something with a point. Something with at least some kind of entertainment value, something that has a reason to exist, but at the same time is attention-grabbing, with content based around things people want to see or don't want to see in some cases. So I just coined the idea of I hate everything. Initially, I thought there'd be no way that no one had taken the idea already, but amazingly enough, there was nothing to be found. I had a blank slate I could fill with anything I wanted, so I went ahead and made the channel, using the face I doodled earlier as a logo. I then crudely put together my first video, and the only reason I put Aquaman in there was because I still had the pictures saved from the terrible channel I'd just deleted. That's why Aquaman became a thing. Then after I made the video about Facebook, I was lucky enough for the awesome Jello Apocalypse to comment on it which caused an initial influx of a couple hundred subscribers, which leads me to where I am today. Hopefully you found this interesting, or at least got some kind of reaction out of it, positive or negative. I wasn't sure if I should ever tell this story, but it's done now. Fuck it. So, so there's my origin story. Uh, to be honest, I'm just glad it's out of the way. But anyway, what do you think? Did you find it interesting at all, or was it the worst thing you've ever witnessed? Either way, cheers to each and every one of you for enjoying my weird videos from the beginning, for all the new people, to all the... All the people who've been there from the beginning, what I meant to say. Anyway, and as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.